Hello, my name is Nicholas Tapia of Del Mar Tango, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the beat. Now, the beat in tango can be difficult to find because tango music lacks the drum, the instrument that traditionally gives you the beat in other music, that pulse or that rhythm that you find and dance to. Nevertheless, it is extremely important that you are able to find and dance to the beat in tango. Uh, if you don't, well, you're not really dancing to the music, and some people would say that you're, you know, you have no timing, or that you're offbeat, or that you have no rhythm, uh, and you don't want to be that person. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to talk to you uh, about finding the beat in a tango song. I'm going to give you how to do that, and some tips and tricks for how to do that with other songs. Um, two, I'm going to give a demonstration of dancing on the beat versus off the beat. Uh, and lastly, uh, I'm going to, and I'm very excited about this, I'm going to give a little lesson on musicality uh, that I think will be very enlightening. So, let's get started. Hi, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to attempt to find the beat. So in front of you, you can see a visual representation of the song. Um, now I'm going to black out the screen, and you're just going to listen to this clip of music. And uh, listen, see if you can find the beat. Okay, for those who can hear it, uh, great. If not, I'm going to show you visually what you're going to be looking for. This is iTunes, or not iTunes, this is GarageBand's visual representation of uh, the song that we were listening to. And you can see right here it has these pulses. In these pulses you'll find the upbeat and the downbeat. The downbeat is the one that you're going to be stepping on. So go ahead and listen to this really quickly. If you didn't catch it, listen to it again, but one of those pulses is stronger than the other. Again, that's the downbeat, and that's the one you're going to be stepping on. Well, let's listen to this whole clip. probably noticed right here the beat cut out and then it started back up again and that in there is the musicality that we'll be talking about later but I'm gonna do this one last time I'm gonna count out where the downbeat is I'm gonna say one two three and that that's the downbeat that's not getting into musical theory but that's the step you're gonna be stepping on so you can hear my voice you can see it and you can hear the music uh, and that should help you find the beat one two three Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. All right, so there you have it. Um, now, if you are still having trouble, my suggestion would be to put your hand on the speaker, and that might be able to, to give you some tactile, because some people are, are more sensitive to touch, and they understand it better that way. So put your hand on the speaker and listen to the song and give that a shot. Uh, now let's move on. This is a demonstration of stepping on the beat.
there should be an obvious difference between stepping on the beat versus stepping off the beat. Now, there are things that we'll talk about next, which is, you know, how do we pause, when do we stop, when do we start, um, but this was just a demonstration of what it looks like to be stepping on the beat versus off the beat, and I hope you were able to see and hear the difference. So what I'm going to do now is a demonstration of the beat and musicality. So what is so important about tango music is it's very rich and textured, and you want to be able to hear that and dance to it. And this is one of those simpler things that you can do to have musicality in your dancing. So what I want you to notice is that I'm pausing when there's um, a transition in the music, like an end of a musical phrase, and I'm also pausing when, uh, like, in the phrase there's the little melody in between that has a little comma, if you will, if it's a sentence, that's also where I'm pausing. So I want you to notice those two points of pause, and you should be able to see the difference between what I'm going to do right now and the video that I showed you previous, which is just stepping to the beat rather than adding a little bit of musicality. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Nicholas of Del Mar Tango. Uh, see you next time.